This load cell assembly is what we'd find inside one of the uh, little Lee Valley luggage scales. You'll notice there's four wires coming into the load cell down here. A red one, a black one, a green one, and a white one. And they come up through here and out to these larger wires that I can take over to the Arduino. Now to make this work so that it can sense the pull when I pull between those two ends of the luggage scale, I need to provide some power. And that's what the red and black is for. So I'm going to connect, as always, from ground over to the blue wire or the blue trace on my breadboard. And from plus five over to the red trace. And now I should be able to see if I plug in my voltmeter that in all of these sockets here, I've got plus five. Or because the power supply is kind of weak on this uh, Arduino right now, I'm getting 4.86 volts DC. So if I've got 4.86 volts DC going out to the load cell, what have I got coming back? Well, let's measure the difference between the white wire and the green wire. Well, let's first measure the different, the act absolute voltage on the white wire and the green wire, about 2.3 on each of them. So they're this close to, but not exactly the same. If I measure the difference between the two of them, that certainly looks exactly the same. Try a finer scale, the two volt scale, still looking like no difference. The 200 millivolt scale, just a tiny difference. And if I apply some tension on the load cell, then that voltage changes just a little bit. Gets up to about one millivolt with a fairly high tension on there from my, from my fingers. So again, going up to about one millivolt. That's going to be really difficult to measure with the Arduino, which has only got a resolution of about 5 millivolts. So if we want to measure with the analog inputs on the Arduino, we're going to have to somehow amplify that voltage.